Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The observance of a day of fasting and prayer was brought to all the colonists by the Continental Congress in 1775, just days after George Washington had been selected as Commander-in-Chief of the Continental Army by that same body. The day was a, such a success that our Continental Congress determined to call for a day of fasting and prayer each spring and a day of thanksgiving and praise each fall. So it is my great honor to ask you to join me in prayer on this, our National Day of Prayer. Lord, today we are so very blessed to be living in a nation whose foundations were established in prayer to you. We thank you for our forefathers who loved you and leaned on you for guidance. We thank you, Lord, for all the times our nation has recognized our very great need for your direction and intervention and for all the times you've answered those prayers. So today I pray for our nation, our state, and on behalf of this body that you've called to serve you. May all of us who serve on this mission field of government understand that our nation's greatness comes only because of your unmerited favor, your mercy, and your grace. Help us turn fully to you. I pray that we would trust you, Lord, with all our hearts and that we wouldn't use our own wisdom, but that we would lean on you for understanding and that in all our ways we would acknowledge you and that you would make clear our way to do your will. And in Jesus' name I pray, amen.